talk a little bit about fall protection, what the well-dressed rescuer is going to wear when he's climbing a tower like we're out here at the Star at Mill Mountain in Roanoke, Virginia. Uh, Todd is all dressed, ready to climb. A couple things on his harness that are going to keep him alive as he climbs. Uh, this particular device is a cable grab. This is going on a steel cable that's actually on a fixed ladder on the structure. It's connected to a shock absorbing device. Sometimes you'll hear it called a screamer. This device allows him to climb, and if he falls, this thing separates out and dissipates the energy so that he is not uh, injured on the way down or especially not killed uh, there. So this is one type of device he has. Another type of device he has uh, is a Y yoke system. Uh, and Todd, if you can just show him how that opens and closes, closes that. As he climbs up the ladder, he'll clip that into a rung or some, some sort of member on the steel structure. And as he turns here, this lanyard actually has shock absorbing capability in it. There's two of them. You'll sometimes hear these called lobster claws. It's connected in the back. This time he's chosen to put it on the dorsal attachment on his harness. It keeps it out of the way as he climbs. Uh, in here, there's two of them. He could also attach it to the front harness. He could put it on the sternal attachment. He could even put it down here on his waist attachment, wherever it's convenient for him as he's climbing. So he gets up and he's now ready to go to work. He's ready to do some work. So he's got a couple ways he needs to attach himself. He can't use his fall protection, so we don't want him resting on that. This is a very simple item. This is called a Fifi hook. He'll take this hook, it's connected positively to the waist part of his harness, and he'll connect this into some sort of steel structure. Uh, I know it's open, but remember he's still connected with his fall arrest equipment on here. So he's still positively connected to the tower. This allows him to quickly attach to the tower and work hands free. Another very low tech option he has is a daisy chain. This daisy chain, he can take this and simply go around an object, clip it back in and he can lean back into his harness. He can come around the object and do uh, come a wrap around it if he wants to, to shorten it up. And remember, this is simply a work positioning device. This is not a life safety connection. His fall arrest equipment is the, the positive lock connections that we have all the way through here that he'll have uh, on here when he's climbing. You use the same equipment when you're climbing structural steel, when you're climbing trees, if you're climbing tower poles. Some of the equipment is different. You can find an incredibly wide variety of these different devices uh, on there. We encourage you to use these when you're climbing. You need to stay alive and stay safe. Everyone have a great HTR day.